the more that I start to choose truth for myself and love for myself, the more I open myself up to receive love. Being real with yourself and really expressing how you want to, I feel like will attract. What's good, my loves? Welcome or welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to remind you that you and your art is more powerful than anxiety. I want to share some of the ways that I'm taking my power back and taking back control over my life from anxiety through self-reflection and creative expression. So let's get right into it. First of all, a lot of people might say that fear is just false expectations appearing real. I just realized that anxiety is the one that's super worried. My real self don't even care. The less obstacles that I had in my way to embodying my highest self, the more distractions I put there, the more excuses I put there, the more I started to procrastinate. And that avoidance of my real self and my own potential made the anxiety start to have power over me. I started letting anxiety dictate my decisions and started to avoid and shy away from things that made me uncomfortable, nervous, or even scared. The more that I started to choose love and truth for myself, the less I started to avoid, which made me remember that I can actually handle it. The things that I was afraid of ain't even real. And I know it's been times where you've had anxiety and you've had to contain it and control it. And that right there should tell you how much power that you have. Anxiety don't got you, you got anxiety. So remember that it is manageable and that you can feel all of these feelings inside and still make a conscious decision to move in a direction that best reflects your highest self. I feel like I received so much more hate playing small. You entertaining people and things that you know don't truly resonate all in this attempt to hide. And the moment that you exceed past what they thought you were capable of, that's when true colors show. I feel like on the other side, there's more love than anything. You know, you're going to have the haters and you're going to have the trolls. And the more popping you are, the more mad people going to be. You know, I'll be looking at celebrities' comments and people just be assuming and saying the wildest stuff. And I'm like, yo, these people are really bored and miserable. You're not going to outrun toxic people. You're not going to outrun haters. They're going to be everywhere. But the more that I start to choose truth for myself and love for myself, the more I open myself up to receive love. And so that being real with yourself and really expressing how you want to, I feel like will attract more people that resonate with you because then they can see who you are. Because when I was insecure and playing small, people was coming for me. Even people that had perceived power over me felt intimidated by me. If I can handle that, even in a dysregulated and insecure and dissociated state, then once I'm confident and secure, anybody that want to come for me, you're just going to get handled. Sometimes you can put people in their place just by telling them the truth and they'll have this dumbass look on their face like you just cracked their delusions because yeah. And when you are full of anxiety, bullies, narcissists, control freaks, predators will full on try to take advantage of this. They try to intimidate you and control you with fear do y'all not got nothing else better to do why do you feel such a need to oppress me why do you feel that that's necessary i know that my real self is coming back now because i'm not gonna give into stuff like that and i'm damn sure not about to argue with you i'm gonna just ask you questions that make you reflect that make you look in the mirror outside of haters and all of that i feel so much freedom when I think about expressing myself truly. And I've been alchemizing this anxiety too. Like I've just been dancing and moving it out of me and just being free, getting out of my head and stop worrying so much. You're not anxiety, you just have it. It's manageable, it's controllable. It's been times where, many times, where I've had to contain that anxiety. I was on a expressway one time and it was pouring down raining. I couldn't see anything except the lines right in front of me and the lights from the car. So the only thing that I could do is stay calm. The only thing that I could do is contain it. And I'm just guiding myself, talking my way through it like you almost there. You got this. Just two more miles. Everything's going to be okay. Take your time. That just made me remember 
that anxiety doesn't run me and I could panic and I could feel all these crazy feelings inside and still choose to be grounded. No matter how you may feel inside, nobody's gonna notice until you start to let it take over. Keep being you, keep being free, keep expressing and people gonna fall off. You know, a lot of haters, they gonna get out your face. They not gonna be smiling in your face no more. They might be watching from a distance, but honestly, it's an honor to have haters when you think about it. If you don't got nobody hating on you, then you're not successful and you ain't doing nothing. And we can't change other people and we can't run away from that truth either. I can't make anybody hate themselves any less. I can't make anybody take accountability to focus their energy on them to make their life better. I can't. The only thing that I can do is truly be me and inspire whoever it inspires and be me just to be free in my expression. Some people are just meant to be low vibrational and they make us stronger. They teach us lessons. Right now I'm really practicing grounding and also acceptance and also not being afraid of confrontation. That's why I've always ran and ran and ran because I'm just like, oh, I'm not dealing with it. I'm gone, boom, 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 I'm out of here. Like, no, nah, face it, be mature, handle shit. Confrontation doesn't mean fight. It really does not. It means set a boundary, speak your truth. You can't control the way other people act, but you can control what you'll tolerate and what you'll allow into your life. And if people want to act crazy and they want to show you who they are and treat you like shit, place them accordingly. Make them stand on that. And it ain't nothing wrong with having like fans either because that means they mess with your stuff too. That means that you have this beautiful artwork that just lit up somebody's moment, that just lit up their day. But I feel the more true that I am to myself, the more I attract supporters, I attract a, a more real and authentic audience. And I am so grateful for 10K, y'all. Thank you for 10K. And I'm also very intrigued by um, y'all creative outlets too. When y'all was telling me the creative outlets, like I just thought it was so cool. I'm just like, oh my gosh. I don't know. I'm, I'm, ah, how do you talk to people? This next level requires me to open up it requires some fears like opening up and being seen something that i forgot to say when dealing with haters found myself being overly nice to evil people you know that didn't even like me and i was doing that to make them more comfortable around me and motherfuckers got too comfortable like oh no like no you doing too much now and i'm snapping back into myself and remembering that i'm actually not that damn nice and in the moment you put your foot down, they confused. Like, who is this? You know, why are you not letting me walk all over you? Because you're doing too much. When you set those boundaries, there's so much power in a pause. You don't have to automatically react. Anxiety makes you think that you got to jump on something, do something right now because something bad going to happen. Stay calm. Take a pause. Think about what you're going to say and respond rather than react and your response is going to be so authentic and so mature that y'all are not on the, the same vibration anymore you can't resonate they're going to fall back and you want to do this and nip things in the bud as quick as possible don't let things foster too long and let people get too comfortable just because you want better for yourself and you choose better for yourself doesn't mean that you're better than other people because being black and introverted with anxiety and having taste made people believe or assume that I was stuck up. I don't even want to get into it. That could be a whole nother separate video. But I got so lonely. I'm just trying to convince myself and convince other people like, oh yeah, I'm nice, I'm nice, I'm not intimidating, I'm not stuck in I never was those things. If I value a certain type of lifestyle, why am I entertaining negative things? Like the same people that talk stuff like, oh, they this, they that, you're the one putting me on a pedestal and that's why I can't be around you. You're not intimidated by me, but you're intimidated by my habits, my actions, the way that I carry myself. It might make my habits and my values a little bit ahead of yours. And if you don't wanna do nothing with yourself, then stay the fuck out of my face.
And then I feel like me playing small like that. So now I'm shying away from people that intimidate me, people that I'm putting on the pedestal and all that. No, 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 no. I don't like those feelings within myself of jealousy and stuff because when I feel jealousy, it's reiterating to me that I gave up on myself and I can't have it. When I'm feeling confident, when I'm moving towards my greatness, when I'm pouring into myself, I don't get jealous. I get inspired. I'm happy for people. I could break down these videos because I'll be all over the place. I know I said in one of my videos that I was going to post twice a week no matter what. But I just realized that if I don't have anything to say, I don't want to force a video just because I said that I was going to post. Now it's low quality. It's not valuable and it's unnecessary. So I do want to post every week, once a week at least but I'm not going to be forcing videos. And I swear the more that I create in other things and just be free and live, the more ideas actually come, you know? I can't sit here and think of an idea. It just flows to you straight from the heavens. <laughs> I'm so grateful for 10K and I am so grateful to be attracting a chill you know authentic audience the more real that i am to myself and i show up like this like the more real the support is and i mean the support always been real but it's just a different type of person that i'm talking to right now and i really fucks with that if you watch this far into the video thank you so much and do not forget to hit the like button and remember that your art holds so much more power and radiance than anxiety ever could